Each of the destination grow are Italian arrivals, um, leaps and bounds. It's a nice steady growth. Um, this year from January to September, we're looking at 1,350 guests, and last year we had 1,559 guests. So each year it grows. And we're looking to find ways of having tourists come, not just for weddings and honeymoons, but to find other niche, up, niche ways in which they can visit the islands and enjoy the hospitality that we have to offer. Well, generally we would like for the numbers to be double, of course. We would like to be definitely working with um, more tour operators who can sell the destination onto their clients so that ensuring that they come in and visit uh, in bigger numbers and stay on in, in country longer. We have advertising campaigns. We also primarily work with tour operators and travel agents because they're the ones who have either visited the country, they know what the country's about, they know how best to get there, what things that are on offer in country, and it's ideally that when they meet with their clients, they could sell, it, sell the, the destination properly because they are properly informed about what Turkey is, is and what it has to offer for them. There are no direct flights, of course, but you could um, take British Airways um, from London Gatwick to, to come in, but there are direct flights from Italy to New York. You could, from New York, you could take JetBlue down straight into Providenciales, or you can leave from Italy, get on to Miami International, and down to Providenciales. But it's always a great idea to do a stopover in New York or Miami. We have flights from many other uh, North American cities into Providenciales. So it's always a great idea to do a stopover in America and then fly on down to Turks and Caicos where you can enjoy your stay there.